Hello and welcome to Luke Salmon Books and Studios. We are currently in the middle of a video series creating a website from scratch uh, based, uh, using maybe a bit of jQuery and a little library that I've developed in the background called Hackshare. We've just finished the news page. We're now going to move on to the books page. So stick around so that we go straight into it. If you remember from yesterday, this is the page that we had. Uh, we have this general and development category. We had a basic professor at the bottom, and we've got see these news items. They're not going anywhere at the moment. Um, if we were to click on them, it doesn't do anything. Um, that is going to be implemented a little later. As I mentioned in the intro video, we're going to be moving on to the book. So I'm going to be getting rid of most of this. So if we go to to the code let's get straight into it so uh, let's just double check these a moment I've got so I've got here category category content news item that's the basic news item as well as these as well we probably want um, the actual categories themselves uh, at, uh, somewhere in this content so if I go up to um, here uh, first of all it's wrapped around a news item I'm selecting a bit too much there I think let's cut that uh, so what I'm going to do is go into here I'm going to cut this and paste it in here let's just fix the indentation and here I'm going to put categories, so percentage categories here. Um, I'm going to leave those anchor anchors as they are currently because I'd like to just um, be sure that that's going to be the case later on. I've got obviously the um, facts. I'll call this category. Uh, navigation let's say and down here I'm going to say categories so it's similar to what we had before obviously if you remember we had these category and category content let's just cut and paste that up here um, just to be sure uh, I'm going to get rid of this clear fix and I'm going to get rid well mm, I kind of need to know what to put so I'm going to remove these and I'm going to leave this here and the reason why is because when I actually come to implementing this I want to remember what I need to put in place so now now that I've got that out of the way let's actually move on to the books page which is going to contain the books that I've put um, uh, or the arts that I've um, been working on well not me but someone else uh, I'm going to create a new folder here and I'm going to call it image I'm going to go to the documents maybe here novels yes I've got loads and loads and loads of stuff. I know. Um, artwork. Artwork. So here we are. Um, so I've got a few um, pieces of artwork here. Um, I've got Marlands, which is actually this here. So if we just double click that so that you can see. Um, this is artwork done by a uh, Finnish artist, Kirsty Salon. We're still in a contract despite having it not um, done much recently. Um, this is Sonia and Caroline, two of the iconic characters within the book, as well as Jahia as well. So, And I've obviously got all of the different revisions of the artwork for each of these characters. So... There is more to do, I just haven't got the uh, resources to continue with the contract at the moment. 
Um, so, what I'd like to do is put these into um, into a place in the image folder. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put in a new folder here. I'm going to put it, put here books. Um, I'm going to say, let's say, uh, Age of Atlantis, because that's the name of the book. And oops, don't want that. Uh, so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to copy Sunny and Caroline. Um, and do this is the full uh, picture. Do I want? Yeah, let's go for that one. Um, as you can see, the file size is quite large, so I'll probably end up converting that to a JPEG uh, file at some point. And um, this is JPEG, so that's fine although the size is massive still um interesting okay we'll keep it like that i mean obviously downloads um there might be download limits for some people so i'm going to shrink the sizes of these uh but anyway what i'm going to do now is uh, let's see. So I would like to do some implementation details um, with regards to each book. Let's do it on a per book basis for the time being. So we're just going to have a, a browse section. Um, so what I'm going to do is say div class book item thumb. And this is going to be the uh, uh, thumbnail for the book item itself. Uh, this is going to have a background image. And the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to have a div class book art one. And that's just going to, so book art and then book art one. So basically what I'd like to do is I'd like to define a book art, which is going to specify the width and height within book item thumb. And the book art one is going to be the actual background image itself. The reason, the reason I'm going to do that, do it this way is because I want to take advantage of the CSS styles for background images, which are not normally available to uh, nor ordinary image um, tags. In fact, um, I would, I actually generally prefer to use the CSS styling for images um, rather than use the image tag directly if I can help it. And last but by no means least, I want to obviously put the title there. So div class book title. In here, I'm going to say Age of Atlantis. And yes, I'm forgetting something. I need div class inner panel so that we can make sure I'm putting it in the right place. Why did I do that for you? Copy. Right, paste. I accidentally copied empty space. I don't know why brackets does that for some reason. If you copy empty space, it thinks that you are in fact copying something, which is really weird and shouldn't be happening. But anyway. So this is this is what that looks like. And in fact, again, um, I want to wrap that around col four so that I have th three columns. Of course, there's only one book here at the moment, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but anyway, so I've got this book item thumb. What I'm going to do is inside of styles and then main.css, I'm going to put down here book item thumb. 
Um, I think I'd like it similar to this news item. And we're going to do the same um, for the hover as well. Um, and yes, that's a good point. That actually needs to be an A class, otherwise it's not going to have your, you know what, linking. Um, so Bucks Age of Atlantis, that'll do quite nicely. And inside of main.css, what I'm going to do, so if we hover over it, that's, um, it's not doing anything at the moment, much anyway. Uh, so let's have this effect for the book item thumb as well. So I'm just copying and pasting stuff. Now, you're probably wondering why didn't I just use the news item then? Well, first of all, that's technically for news items. And secondly, <laughs> secondly, the other reason why is because um, there's certain functionality in news item that we actually don't want, like this news item P. We're just using the title um, for this for this case, so we don't need that. And also, I want to make sure that we position relative on this. I could. I probably could put it into a separate item. So maybe box item. Maybe I could probably call it box item and that'll be fine. So I can say that. And then when we come down to the news page, which is inside of here, I will actually call it box item. Um, instead of news item, so that would be um, box item. We'll probably just we'll probably also say news item because that also has hover elements in there as well. Um, and in fact, I'm going to make this box item as well. Let's put that up here so that that's together. So yeah, we'll do it that way. Um, but I will still need this box item thumb position relative because what I'd like to do now is uh, let's just add, th add that minutes box item. So what I'd like to do now is say book title. It's going to be position absolute. Uh, the going to be at the bottom we're going to make the width 100% it's going to be display block and I'm going to text align center that doesn't look like it's in the center for some reason what's going on there Oh, that's why. Left zero. There we go. Okay. So that looks like that. And what I'd now like to do is say book art. Now, again, this is going to be position absolute. Width 100%. I'm going to say top zero, left zero and the height is going to be spe specified as let's say 90 percent that looks fine okay um just one tweak here i'm just going to make this bold okay so As a test then, what I'm going to do is say book art one. And I'm going to say background is, in fact, background image. Doesn't really matter, but I'm going to say URL 
going out of the current folder, which is in styles, we're going to go into image, books, age of Atlantis, and then city one. Next thing I'm going to do is say uh, position is the center. And finally, the size is cover. So let me show you the results in full screen. So this is what it looks like. This is our Age of Atlantis. If we were to click on that, obviously it's not going to do anything. But we do have a item that we can click on um, that will take us to information about that book. Um, I should probably indicate uh, what page we're actually on. That might be a good idea. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do, uh, go back to our code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say class active here. Um, so if I go to here and I put, uh, where is it? Nav, here we are. So I'm going to say nav li um, a dot active. So I'm going to have font weight is 600. And let's say the color is also black. Yeah. So let's uh, go back into full screen and take a look at that. So this is the results. We've got our home books, which we've highlighted, um, portfolio and about. Obviously, we will check that when we come to actually coding it all together. Um, I'm probably at, to, de to demonstrate the hash based router, we're going to start with the hash based router. But I think later what I'd like to do is make this more into an actual PHP router, a server based router, so that we don't have the hash um, so that we can properly index everything, add some metadata to each of the pages, etc. I think that would be a good idea, but we haven't got that far yet, so that's fine. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, for now, we're just going to continue on with what we've got currently. So this here is basically the template that we're going to use for each of the books there's nothing much here i want to add at the moment there's not really categories for books because they're all fictional though later i might separate them by trilogy um it depends it depends obviously as you can see um Obviously, as you can see, this is uh, this isn't technically book art. Um, this is actually just art that's been done um, by the artist uh, to aid with um, well, the website technically, this website. Uh, so let's move on and go into the actual book details itself. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, well, cut it. Um, let's. Just uh, go back to the code so that you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to go into pages. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it books.htm. And again, we're doing basically the same thing. Um, so here I'm just going to put books like that. So let's go into here. And next thing I'm going to do is actually work on the book section itself. So we've clicked on a book, right? We want to add basically that same image um, again as a background. Uh, so I'm going to say div class. Um, let's say for image I don't know something like that and then book art one 
obviously it's not doing anything right now we can't see anything and the reason why is because we haven't set a width or height on the full image so let's go ahead and do that um, let's go down here somewhere so here I'm going to say full image I'm going to have a width of 100% and a height of 300 pixels something like that I think that looks fine maybe 400 pixels 500 yeah 500 I think that's fine okay um, I don't know if you can see that probably can um, <laughs> I'm just assuming at the moment So let's add a title to that. So I'm going to put down H1, Age of Atlantis. And yes, I know that needs to technically be in a panel. Div class in our panel. Can't be forgetting that. So Age of Atlantis. And I'd like to do the same as what I did previously um, with our news. So if you remember in news, we have this news header. So I'm going to, um, let's make that a bit more generic and call it a header instead, shall we? Um, so inside of here, I'm going to look for news header. There we are. And I'm just going to call that header instead. So, h1 class header that's what it looks like um, i'm going to align that to the left that sounds uh, not align it to the left i mean um i want to do this text center so let's just go ahead and create that class um, so this is this is what I do generally speaking. Um, I don't tend to use things like Bootstrap. Um, I tend to just continually add things as I need it instead of um, thinking about things like Bootstrap, for example. I mean, Bootstrap is is one of those sort of monolithic libraries. I mean, well, it isn't monolithic, not compared to most, but it is one of those libraries that you tend to have to do a lot of learning before you can start memorizing everything which is less than ideal and a lot of it's very trivial um, it's not like you can't do it within a couple of seconds right um, so but I can certainly see the benefit of bootstrap for the more complicated non-trivial um, things like uh, mobile ready navigation menus for example but anyway um, we've got our age of Atlantis uh, which is um, our title down here so next what I'd like to do is of course put in a synopsis so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to put in a synopsis I've got a synopsis of this somewhere um, just trying to think where I put it Alternatively, I could just put lorem ipsum there. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I'm going to start typing the synop. Hmm. Yeah. So this is the synopsis. Uh, if I remember correctly. Sonia and Caroline lost their parents when they were only six months and five years old.
In fact, that should be the other way around. <clears throat> Order matters in this context. Five years old, five years and six months old. Grammar, god damn it. Right, Sandy and Caroline lost their parents when they were only five years and six months old. The daughter of the royal family is reported dead. Present tense has to be in this context. And Sonia and Caroline lost their parents when they were only five years and six months old. The daughter of the royal family is reported dead, and the kingdom of the Morrow lands is at the brink of collapse. In the years past, in the years, in the years of running, the children were caught by hooded figures whose interests in the humans were far beyond imagination. In in the years running, the children were caught by hooded figures whose interests in the humans were far beyond imagination. I'm actually making this up now. Strange how synopsis changes. Um, in the years running, the children were caught by hooded figures whose interests in the humans were far beyond imagination. So that implies that these hooded figures are not human, um, which is exactly what I want to convey. Unlike their kin, the children were aware of the cultist incursion, but without. any chance to uh, convey no but without any chance to the children were aware of the cultist incursion but without any chance to trying to think and trying to think Unlike their kin, the children were aware of the cultist incursion. But could not. Speak in fear of death. Unlike their kin, the children were aware of the cultist incursion, but could not speak in fear of death. Until one day the 
clouds turned. The winds shifted and a new figure rose to save them from the depths of their of their slavery until one day the clouds turned the winds shifted and a new figure rose to save them from the depths of their slavery now sania and caroline destined to become clerics have a choice they can either remain silent and keep the inner city blind to the plans by their southern neighbours They can either remain silent and keep the inner city blind to the plans by their southern neighbours. Mm, that doesn't really make much sense, does it? They can either remain silent and keep the inner city blind to the plans. That's where it goes wrong. They can either remain silent and keep the inner city blind to the plans of their s southern neighbours. Yeah. Might be a good idea to be able to type they can either remain silent and keep the inner city blind to the plans of their southern neighbours or transform society or prepare society. knowing what's coming until one day the clouds turned the winds shifted and a new figure rose to save them from the depths of their slavery now sunny and caroline destined to become clerics that needs to be a comma there actually where is it here we are now sunny and caroline destined to become clerics have a choice they can either remain silent and keep the inner city blind to the plans of their southern neighbours or prepare society knowing what's coming. Who knows the consequences either way. Meanwhile, Sonny and Caroline's mother lays trapped in the domain of their enemy. What may come of her could become disaster. Completely. Meanwhile, Sonny and Caroline's mother lays trapped in the domain of their enemy. What may come of her could become disaster for the entire kingdom. Yeah, something like that. I literally just wrote a synopsis. A completely new synopsis for my book. There was one 
at some point in a Word document, but you know what? Let's just write another one while recording. Why not? Sounds like a plan. There's probably some gra grammatical mistakes in that somewhere, but I'll figure that out later when I'm actually properly focusing. But anyway, that's that. <laughs> so, um, next thing I'd like to do is uh, create, again, text center. And here, what I'd like to do is say H well, H2, actually. H2 class header. Now, this is going to be characters. So there's going to be characters. And again, we're going to have box item, uh, div class, well, div class call for. Uh, we're going to have div class box item. And again, we're going to say, we're going to have the um, sort of book art thing that we're going to have here. So instead of this, let's say box title and box art. And put that again up here. Uh, let's go up here and put in, where am I? So this would be box art and box title. So inside of here, I'm going to say div class box art. And here I'm going to say uh, book art to so I'm going to copy and paste this and this time this is going to be the two sisters. Uh, let's put two sisters for PNG. And that needs to be two. Um, this is book art two, and that's book art one. What are you doing? Box item. Have I done something wrong? Box item. Oh, let's just make this position relative. I'll do. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. So I can just get rid of that book item thumb, and I can technically get rid of that as well. Book item thumb. So, in reality, I'll just get rid of that. <laughs> it doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> Whatever, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, so. We've got our main image. If we go down here, we've got this. So that's Sunny and Caroline, as you can see. Um, so inside of here, we're going to have a um, box title. And that's going to be Sonia. Oh, I can't spell anymore. It happens sometimes. So that's going to be Sunny and Caroline. And and we've got also Jahia as well, which is also there. So that's going to be box three. Jahia, that is the daughter of the royal family, by the way. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Jahia. <gasps> She's alive. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we've got this. Um, oh, ah, yes, that's why I had the um, cover things, things, things. Um, what I'm going to do is just open these a minute. So I'm going to say.
because I want to focus on the portraits of them for this context. Uh, so let's uh, save that as. Save as. Um, save that as a JPEG. That might be a good idea. So two sisters portrait. And the same for Jahia as well. Jahia Ivel portraits. There we go. Such gorgeous images, aren't they? Anyway, so this one's going to be the portrait. So that looks better. Um, and two sisters portrait as well. There. Cool. Looking good, I think. Um, and there's also going to be places as well, iconic places. So we've got um, the Marlands, which is this image here, technically speaking. Um, let me just show you what that looks like. Full screen. So this is the uh, image background uh, image here. Um, it's not quite the full image. And then we've also got, you know, Sonia, Caroline and Jahia. Um, those should be anchor links. I keep doing that. I don't know why. Um, the books, age of Atlantis, Sonia and Caroline. Okay, so we've got you know the these. Um, um, so this is Sonia and Caroline. That's going to a link, and this one would be a link eventually. Um, I'm just going to add that as well. A link. Where Jahia. And that is that. So we've got characters and Jahia. Cool. It's looking good. This website's coming along quite well, I think. So um, I'm going to finish off here for the time being. Thank you very much for watching. In the next video, I'm going to be going on to the portfolio. So once again, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.